What is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so today's video is so exciting because today we are going to be breaking down the differences and similarities between UC Berkeley's computer science major, data science major, and electrical engineering and computer science major, also known as EECS. These three majors at Berkeley are very popular. For some background information, you may have seen the other videos I've posted recently on my channel breaking down the five undergraduate colleges at UC Berkeley, which I'll have linked down below. For the computer science and data science majors, those two are in the College of Letters and Science at Berkeley versus the Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, the EECS major, is in the College of Engineering. And so if you're a student applying to colleges this cycle, you should definitely check out Study Hall College Consulting for more advice with everything relating to the college application process, college application essay review, general college study tips and advice, and experiences with college and UC Berkeley. So definitely check out Study Hall College Consulting's website for more information. So without further ado, Let's get started with Grant, Alec, and Swad. Hi everyone, my name is Grant. I graduated from Cal in the class of 2020 with majors in economics and computer science, and I grew up in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Hi, my name is Alec. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I graduated from UC Berkeley studying economics, statistics, and data science in the class of 2020. My name is Swad. I am a fourth year at UC Berkeley. I'll be graduating in the spring. I'm currently majoring in bioengineering and EECS. EECS stands for Electroengineering and Computer Science. Why did you choose your major over majoring in the other of computer science, data science, or EECS? In high school, we didn't really have computer science stuff, so I didn't do any coding until college. I I got onto Canvas for orientation and people were talking about computer science. I didn't even know what it was. I took uh, the super bare bones intro CS class my freshman year. Freshman year, you take a lot of things that are just exploring new concepts, uh, seeing what you might like. And so I took one, I loved it, and stuck with it, really. Coming into Cal, I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to do something quantitative, but what that entailed wasn't really clear to me at the time. In fact, I really intended coming to Cal to study math. However, quickly realized that theoretical math just wasn't my thing. I also didn't really want to be a software engineer, so that left me in a place where I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do, knowing that I wanted to use and apply my quantitative skills and background to some other kind of field. That's where the data science major came in, and it really allowed me to incorporate my skills with a different field, in my case, economics. And the interdisciplinary nature of the data science degree is really the reason I chose it and what made it stick out to me and ultimately what made it such a great fit for me in my degree program. So I think the biggest reason that I chose EECS is that I came in majoring in bioengineering. And so it made sense to stay in the College of Engineering and add on the EECS double major. I think in terms of choosing between those, EECS and CS are largely very similar majors. There's only like a couple of differences here and there where I think EECS majors have to take some physics classes, and I think maybe CS majors um, are a little bit more limited in some of the math options that they have. What are the major class topics, themes that you need to take for your major? Core components of the data science degree are very similar to that as what you'd find in the computer science degree and the statistics degree. And on top of that, you have to complete a domain emphasis, which allows you to explore another field. On the statistics side, you take introductory probability and statistics, as well as introductory level math, and then you take really all the statistics courses that you would find interesting to yourselves outside of the very basic ones that are required for the major. On the computer science side, you take introduction to programming and data structures and some other introductory courses similar to those as in the computer science major, and outside of that, you also have the freedom to choose really what suits yourself to the major. You take the core components of both the statistics and computer science degrees and you match them together in a way that allows you to apply your data science skills and your quantitative background in a different way. Then you go and take your domain emphasis classes, which in my case were economics, 
where you use those skills that you learn in the introductory statistics and computer science courses to really apply them to the field of choice. There's five lower division classes that you have to get through. Uh, the first one is 61A. So that's just like introducing you to computer science, like what's going on? How do we, how do we code? The next one is uh, 61B. That one is more of um, starting to build larger projects. And so that one's like, um, how do you put lots of code together to form uh, larger things? And the next one is less of a computer science class at all and more of just a math class. It's uh, discrete math and probability theory. You may not have any experience with that from high school, but if you do, that's great. And the last two classes are electrical engineering classes. And so the, those are just both um, circuits classes uh, split into two parts. Um, and I think there's also like some linear algebra thrown in there. So those are the five main um, classes that you have to take for EECS as like the lower divisions. There are other things on the side. You have to take some physics. Uh, you have to take like a little bit of extra math. The, the main things that you're looking at in EECS are those five courses. A lot of math. There's a lot more math than I'd care for. Linear algebra, discrete math, probability. I was bad at most of it, if we're being fair. So definitely... If you're looking to, to go that route, prepare yourself and then be ready for you having to, to spend a lot of time figuring that out. What are some differences between your major and the other majors of computer science, data science, and EECS? There's actually not that much of a distinction between EECS and CS, and a lot of the coursework that you're required to take is largely the same. A lot of CS majors will, will complain about how they're required to take um, electrical engineering classes when they're not at all interested in electrical engineering. I think that uh, the major difference between EECS and CS kind of comes in some of the upper divs, where with EECS, like, you know, you are more pushed in the direction of classes that combine electrical engineering and CS. Whereas with computer science, um, you know, you just kind of, a lot of the time people just stick to CS. But even in, even as a CS major, you can still take um, electrical engineering upper divs and they'll count for your major. So really like if you wanted the two majors to be almost the exact same, you could make them like that. I think data science kind of falls under a different category of its own. It's a newer major, and so they're still developing a lot of classes. You know, some of like the stats classes are listed as statistics classes right now, but they're going to be listed as data science classes next semester. And that's a reflection of how data science is kind of like combining a lot of different disciplines. Um, and you get to improve your skills in all of those disciplines where you are required to take some CS classes. And so you'll definitely know how to code, but they also push for you to take like statistics and probability classes so that you kind of know the theory behind um, the science. Biggest differences in the name, you know? Like data science is mostly focused on, on data stuff. CS is mostly about computing. But more than that, I, I think it's just a difference in breadth. I took one data science class and it was good. I liked it, it was very practical. I can still use that stuff today. But uh, the projects were very much, you know, download this data set, we have it prepared for you and do XYZ transformations on it and try to get it to the, the end final state. There aren't that many options to get it there. You know, there's kind of like one one way to do it. And computer science was, I, I took all sorts of stuff. I took an artificial intelligence class, took a security class, I took natural language processing. And there's a lot more options than, than just what I did, but most of the projects were, okay, here's your starting point and we'll show you the ending point do whatever you got to do to get there. I think that was, was one of the big differences I found between the two. What makes data science stand out between computer science, data science, and EECS is really the involvement of the statistics department. Although you do take a lot of statistics courses from both EECS and computer science, you don't take them in nearly the same depth as you would as a data science major. As I mentioned previously, nearly half of your coursework as a data science major in the early stages comes directly from the statistics department. And that's very important because it's a key part of the foundation of the major and it's ultimately what forms you as a student in the data science major. Whereas in the computer science department, you're much more focused on building foundations of programming and taking courses that will enable you to do something like software engineering or computer science research in the future. That's simply not the goal of the data science major and ultimately kind of separates it from it. As a result, you get opportunities to take a lot more statistics courses and go into depth in that field but you miss out on some of the depth of the EECS or computer science departments 
And for instance, you probably won't be taking courses in software engineering or some of those higher end EEX courses that are very interesting. What kind of student would enjoy your major? Very patient one. Computer science classes and, and the projects especially take a lot of patience. There's a lot of bugs that will happen and, and a lot of the time spent coding in those projects is just basically banging your head against the wall until you can figure out what you did wrong with it. And I don't really have the patience for that. Uh, so I'd get, I'd get frustrated and want to move on. I'd, I'd say that's where my biggest struggle with, with the major was. One that has a lot of disciplinary interests that might not align with one specific major. If you know that you want to be a software engineer, you shouldn't pick the data science major. It's not going to prepare you that well for it. If you know that you want to go on to grad school in electrical engineering, you also shouldn't pick the data science major. But if you are quantitative and you know that you want to do something quantitative, but don't know exactly how you want to apply those quantitative skills, then data science is potentially a very good fit for you. And ultimately, that's what I found in my experience. There's a lot of different domain emphases. In my case, I chose economics, but you can apply data science to almost any field. And they're very malleable with how you can format this major. And ultimately, it allows you the freedom to kind of choose and pick exactly what you want to do with your data science degree. I think people that are like really technically or math minded should probably opt for EECS over CS or data science. Uh, and I think that's also a reflection of you'd have to apply to the College of Engineering instead of the College of Letters and Sciences. I think CS is kind of in the middle ground where it's like, you know, you don't want to be super technical, uh, but you still want to be like, decently like, you know, logic circuit based in terms of computer science. And then I think data science, because the requirements are less stringent, that one's like the nicest one for you to declare. What kinds of jobs and internships can you get with your major? The diversity of the data science major ultimately lends itself to diversity in the outcomes and opportunities that come after graduation. Out of the people that I know that I graduated with, there's quite a few that went into data science roles at tech companies, while others went into consulting and others into finance. I currently work as an options trader, but there's quite a breadth of opportunities that can come as a result of the data science major. And you never feel like you're really pigeonholed into one industry just because you have so many opportunities to kind of go into different things. That being said, there is an opportunity to be too broad, in which case you haven't really specialized in anything. And I would caution people against that ultimately trying to get some level of expertise in something that interests you so that you can pursue it at a higher level. Pretty much like any software or CS oriented job. So let's say you're building an app. Uh, there's the front end, which is the stuff that you see on your screen. There's the back end, which is what happens in the background um, to like process things. And then full stack refers to both the front end and the back end connecting those two things together. So if you are a CS major um, at Berkeley, you can do any of those things. There's different classes for front end, back end, and full stack, and you can get acquainted with those. All of the different sections of computer science, you know, like building out an infrastructure, um, making sure that something is secure, just the general like software engineering, building large items, large projects, algorithms, and uh, you know how to make process something efficiently. All of those are like different classes you can take um, as an upper division course to really hone your skills in that section. That's me speaking from like an EECS and CS perspective. I think that it really opens up avenues in terms of any job where they're asking you to have a major in some kind of computer science or engineering, computer engineering related field. You can be suited for that job if you choose to take the courses for it, or if you just like, you know, study hard for the interviews and you go in there and you'll kill it. A lot of my friends went in the software stuff, so I, I can say that right off the bat. I did not, again, because I, I don't think I'd have the ability to sit down and, and code for eight hours a day. I just couldn't do it. So I went into technology consulting, which is quite a bit less technically involved than software, but you definitely need that kind of technical background. So it was great for me. I get to work on stuff that I like to work on without having to basically just sit down on the computer and code all day. How difficult are the classes you've taken for your major compared to high school? How much time did you have to put in and how much time did you have to study in college? College classes are definitely harder than high school classes. 
Uh, the biggest reason for that is that you don't get the assistance in college that you got in high school. East classes and CS classes are very technical. And so a lot of the time that means that they're harder than non-technical courses um, simply because of you know, how, how deep you have to get into um, the knowledge base in order to do well on those exams. I think that workload uh, can definitely add up sometimes if you're taking a lot of courses. So you wanna make sure that, you know, you don't take too many technical courses each semester. Generally each day I have like three to four hours of class and then three to four hours of working outside of that. And so that averages like seven hours. That's like normal basis. Um, if there's, you know, like an exam coming up on a certain week, then you know, that can go, that can jump up to like 10, 12 hours of me just spending the entire day studying. It was really tough. I, I'll be honest about it. I, I'm not the smartest person in the world. People that, that really get this stuff naturally will excel at it and maybe not have to work that hard. I've definitely, definitely seen that a few times, but I think most people will, will have to grind through it. It's not an easy major. And depending on what classes you take, it can become an even more difficult one. Definitely harder than high school. And it's not something you can just walk through no matter how long you've been doing stuff in computer science, I would say. Coursework is difficult. There's no way around it. In my case, the step up in work and effort from high school was quite significant. However, I also found myself much more interested in the coursework that I was doing. So despite the fact that I was studying much longer hours and working much harder on assignments, I found myself much more interested in the work that I was doing and ultimately felt like it was much more rewarding to do the work. So yes, it's going to be a lot of work and it's going to be difficult, but if you pick the right major, I think it will be a rewarding experience nonetheless. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have any questions relating to computer science, data science, or EECS, definitely leave a comment down below. And if you have any other videos that you want to see me do, also leave a comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like this video to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me. Good luck with your college application essays and I will see you all next time.